Alright, so Black Rose, you wake up and next to a Helen who is deeply inhaling this flask. She's still awake. She give me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> Correction, is she still alive? <laughs> give me a heal check. Somewhat trained in heal. <laughs> I am not. Nah, fam. You know who's who trained in the heal. We can I make am. a nature check. Her I eyes are nature. wide open and staring off into the distance. She might be dead. I'm going to make a perception check to see if to see if she's still breathing. She's still breathing. Uh, you can tell that she's just sleeping with her eyes open. Okay. You're not gonna be much help. What did- what did Apple say again? Oh, it's right, workshop. Yeah. Teleportation! I love it! Why are there so many- what is that? That? Which the half oak failed to notice the entire time is a manticore. It is a very large beast with a mace for a tail. It looks like a mixture between a lion, a human, and a bat. I have two questions. One, can it see me? And two, please tell me it's not hungry. Uh, it can see you, and it seems to be two gone giblets. Perfect, thank god. Alright, I'm just gonna not go near that. Hey. 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 You know where a geomancer might be? No. Uh-huh. God dang it. <laughs> he still, hey, at least he still has to make a- He look. is a lying fuck. Oh wow, what did he do? I rolled a two, and he had a minus one. <laughs> oh god. I'm just gonna kinda lean up against his work, uh, lean up against the thing here. Why do you feel the need to lie to me? I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. Where he, where is the geomancer? I told her I wouldn't tell the likes of you. Ooh, her. So that narrows it down to about half the town. Who's her? He stares at you. Okay. I'm tired of being nice. Who's her? Remember, you have a very scary doctor who you know is very good at intimidating people. I know, but I'm trying to do this myself without you. If I need your help, I will call for you. I'm not gonna tell you about that. Why would I? Fine. I'll just burn the town down. I'll find him eventually. Hmm. <laughs> Good luck with that. <sighs> After the amount of herbages that went through here, haven't you wondered why we're still standing? I mean... Honest, yes. To be honest, yes. Fine. I'm sure you've even heard the explosions from here. I've set fire to the town more times than I could count. Fine. I'll be back. Don't he waves at you as you leave. Is. To do this, I'm going to pluck an apple from the tree. Again, a tiny little hand pokes out. And grabs your hand. Yes? At this point, I imagine it's the same apple and she just keeps on reattaching it. Uh, yeah, basically. <laughs> 
now the Terry? other one got eaten by the by the uh, magical apple. Oh yeah. Tell my friend, tell my friend to stop whatever he's doing and that I need his scariness. Um, she kind of nods a little bit, presses down on the little twigs, and says, Paging the doctor. A friend needs you. It echoes throughout the little grove. I hate you. The fact that actually is funny. Something the actually is something funny. Uh, the doctor, you have a little fog apple that's trying to follow you out. I'll, I'll put no. him in my pocket. No, no, put the fog back. Put the fog back. back. He just wants to be with me. He's in love with me. No, you need to put the fog apple back. There's a He's... wild grit running around, and I'm ninety percent sure he wants to eat it. Hey, I'm did not... you guys say fog apple? <laughs> no, didn't no, say that. What I said was, I said um, fapple fog. I was speaking abyssal, if you didn't know. Huh? Really? <laughs> uh, we'll bluff check. Give me a sec. Ooh, give me a sec. Please, please help. Please help for me. Oh, Seems legit. Oh, so what does fog apple mean in abyssal? Um, not too much actually. Okay. So if I want tea and they offer. Free sugar, I say fog apple. Huh. Depends upon the demon you're trying to talk to, but yes. Got it. But I'd be wary though, if they put actual fog apple in it, you might die. Oh. What? Trust me, I'm a dog. Why, why is sugar lethal? No, no, I mean actual fog apple. I don't follow. I thought we were speaking abyssal. No, I'm speaking actual language. Oh. Actually, that is something that I'm actually curious about. Does he even... Do we... Does everyone even know how to speak the same language? I, I know common. common. I know common and Sylvan. Okay. Abyssal. I was just... Wait, you know... Like, legit, the only time you really need to worry about everybody speaking the same language is if you have, like, a drow. Yeah, drow. Oh. Or, uh, you know what we need to do? We need to find a druid and we need to learn the language of the druids so that they have to punish themselves. Uh, we, oh, we make a God. druid cast atonement on himself. Yes, that's the best. Notice how Apple just went away as we started talking about the druidic language. That's what I was talking about. Wait I'm... a second. Hey, Apple. Oh, Apple. Anyway, guys, guys, focus. We need to find the Geomancer. I'm 90% sure I found him. I just need to borrow the doctor for a minute, and I'm hoping he puts back what he's taking out of that forest. I'm not taking anything, Black Rose. Put it back. Do you want me? Do you want me to show you my true face? I don't think you want to see my look, true face. Look, guys, stealing is wrong, so put it back. I'm not Same. stealing anything, Gertz. Yeah, he's not stealing anything, Black Rose, so stop accusing him of stealing things. Yeah, Gritz knows I'm not stealing anything. Why do you have to accuse me all the time? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's you guys see, um, Apple just kind of like, form out of the trees behind Q, grab onto the fog apple. I was just gonna, I was just gonna try to drop a riddle on Gritz. I was gonna whisper, uh, whisper to Apple when she was taking it, I was like, thank you. Uh, I didn't want to have to take it, but he wouldn't leave me. No. Alright, Rose, okay. what is it you need? Uh, there is a person, there is a person inside of the workshop. Go in there, and tell him you're looking for the- Actually, correction, you're coming with me. Grits, um... I, I hand him five gold. Go get something to eat. Well, okay. Hey, is there a casino on this island? Um, not that you've seen. Okay. 
Okay. So, Rose, what is it that you need? Come now! I, I go into the bar and say, hey, let's all go around one table and play cards together. It'll be fun. I'm going to point to the person at the table. Talk to him. Find the Geomancer. So I tried to get the cousins to sit with us at this table. No thanks. Well, I'm not the mo I'm not the best at making small talk, but if you need him, if you if you need him scared or healed, I'll I'll do it for you. <sighs> okay, fine. We're not playing for money. We're just playing for boredom. My friend. Uh, the cousins are playing strip poker. Can we not? Alright, so, Black Rose and Q. Hmm. Okay, listen. Where is the Geomancer? I don't know what you're talking about. Q. <sighs> I didn't want to have to do this. I'm just going to cover my eyes. I'm going to take off my mask. And I'm going to change from my normal human-esque form to my actual Kitsune form. <laughs> what? You're lying. Keep in mind, keep in mind that my eyes are pure white. There's nothing well, in my eyes except for white. Well, like I said, lucky me, I have covered my eyes. Huh. I think I need to know about the uh, Geomancer, if you will. What brings the likes of you here, really? I mean, there's got to be more than just the Geomancer, right? Uh, not really. I uh. mean, I don't care too much about the Geomancer personally. But, uh, I'm kind of hired to keep these people healthy. And it seems pretty unhealthy for them to be angry because people won't tell them what they need to know. Huh. How did you use your free rule for this? No, oh, no, intimidate. I... Sorry, but... Can't really do that for you. What is this guy made out of? Is he, is he just one giant ball sack? If he has this... Like, seriously. The pair on this guy. Oh, yeah. As you're wondering about why he's doing this. Oh, keep in mind, um, he, I've got Fear Aura, too, so he has to make a will save. Uh, do you activate that? Yes, I'll activate it. Alright, what is the DC? And Black Rose, as you're in range, you also have to make it. Yeah, I know. Mm. Wait, what? Would she have to make it? Cause she in, uh, intentionally closed her eyes to not be. Stopped. Uh, it isn't looking at you. It's just like straight up, um, area around you. It's not a she either. It's a he. Well, eh, eh, any any man who's named Rose, I'm gonna call a woman anyways. Not my real name. It's a nickname. Either or, really. I've never met a man, mainly man, who named himself Rose. But uh, okay. Yeah. I'm so like, what's the DC? Like, like 15. Should be. No, the man just continues staring at you. The manticle backs up. And Black Rose. Holy shit, man. He's scary. Just the sound of his voice. Fuck, man. Did someone say fuck, man? The Wild superhero you need. Wild Gritz bust through the wall, screaming. I don't think you should keep questioning about this. I can't do anything, because I'm currently shitting my pants. She's a rather scary woman. I wouldn't suggest trying to take her brother. Ken, shitting my pants, the only person who can truly talk in this situation 
is Q. Nowhere to be found. Okay. Why don't we go to Grits while this is happening for a little bit? Nope, never mind. Got any fives? Go fish. I take, I take the face down card and put it on my forehead. Say, I never really learned how to play cards, but I feel like this is fun. Um, the man of the cousins, Kyle nods, yes, this is fun. He, um, looks over to this guy. So, uh, have any pickles? Go fish. I have a question. Um, Is she's this guy still unconscious. Oh uh, yes. I hit him so hard. He was also extremely drunk. Still. <laughs> uh, this woman says Uno as this happens, and takes the code, and just like sticks it in her hair. You guys continue on. None of you really, except for probably the guy up here. No, we gotta play any sort of card games. Where do we get this deck of cards anyway? That is a good question. So, Cuban. We're, we're just using a pile of coasters. Yes, exactly. So, Q. Huh. So, the man doesn't even look slightly spooked. Nope. Can I intimidate him? Can I attempt to intimidate him again? Uh, no, with how it, you just did it. He's like still pretty stand strong. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't suggest looking too far into this. She's not a woman to be crossed. I'm not a person to be crossed either. I'm gonna say it has something to do with this. I could just move. I believe you like that until he walks away. So. Hmm. Can you put the mask back on. And leave. Oh, you can always suppress it. Do something else, dang it! Please. So, Kyo, what would you like to do? <sighs> well, I didn't want to have to use um, one of my spell-like abilities, but it looks like I'm going to have to. It's obviously not budget. Um, I'm so going to have to ask you to tell me, and I'm going to use suggestion on him. Right, uh, you have to make it sound a little bit reasonable, so what's he holding for this? Uh, what I'm saying, I'm gonna have to ask you to tell, tell me where the geomancer is. Uh, with how suggestion works, it has to be, sound something like, Oh hey, if you tell me this, I'll give you like five gold or whatever. Uh, oh hey, if you do this for me, then there might be something in for, in it for you. <laughs> Just like, if you, <laughs> let's say, if you, if you tell me where he is, I'll promise no one to know that you told me. Alright. And what's the DC for that? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say it has a DC. Uh, what's the spell level? Uh, spell level is like... Uh, it's a Bard 2, Sorcerer, Wizard 3, Witch 3. Uh, so it would go under the 2, and what's your Charisma mod? My Charisma mod 5. Alright, so the DC for that is 17. Mm -hmm. Well, uh... You put it like that. He's across from Lydia's place. Thank you, my finger, good sir. The door. I'm gonna change back to my human. Um, my and as that back. happens, well, well, thank you for the information. Son of a gun! A uh, figure just appears from the shadows. Wait. 
shadow, as you say. How did I not see that with my perception? Oh, wait a minute, that wasn't in here. Hey, look on the plus side. We'll trigger the magical traps first. Oh god, he might actually get himself killed. I swear to Garsh. Okay, so wait, I can move now? Uh... Well, if he ever suppresses it. Did you suppress it? Ah, uh, Kurt. Meanwhile, the geomancer is currently being kidnapped. Well, I mean, like you're shaking, so you're just like scared, but you're still able to control your own actions. It's just like holy shit. Wait, did uh, if that person entered my world, would they have to make a will save? Oh, I had them roll. Okay. Okay. You need to calm down with that. I'm just gonna immediately take off down the street, just trying, just going over the door. Uh, the door is locked. How in the hell? Okay. Okay. I'm going to um let me. What what I need to do to try to open the door? Disable device. Oh, that's, that was, um, this is fine. This is fine. Oh, this is fine. Never mind, this is not fine. Uh, the l you somehow managed to make the lock stare to you. How? How does that even happen? <laughs> Can I try it again? Isn't Lydia just, like, looking uh, at her back Uh, Lydia right does as this happens. Wait, can he not take 10 What do you think you're doing? Anymore. What do you think you're doing? Hacking heck. Trying to get in there before he gets stolen from me. Uh, this is my warehouse. I would like to ask you to leave. No, 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 no. You, <laughs> Shadow, in there, lady flying, in, open the door. Shit. Uh, give me diplomacy to try to convince you. And she's going to do a sense motive. Well, I mean, the sense motive, I mean, he's the... Yeah, I know, it's just, he, she has to completely get the uh, motive behind all this and try to see if she, he's telling the truth. She looks at you, looks at the door. Quickly takes out her keys and unlocks the door. Uh, and... I'm just gonna kind of, as she's doing so, I'm just gonna kind of call out to Q and um, to Q and Grits. You see three people inside. Um, they're all staring at one another, and as you open up the door, the woman turns over towards you, and as she does so. A spew of shadows comes straight through her chest. Dealing... 10 points of damage to her. Wait, what? Uh, this woman just got shot by a spew of shadows that came from this direction. You son of a bitch! She turns around. And... Flicks her wrist, sending him flying against the wall, knocking into it. For only four points of damage. I want to run. I want to run to uh, where I heard the sound. Please suppress that freaking field. Oh yeah, it's, I already suppressed it. Like, once you left that area, um, it stopped affecting you and you can't be affected by it for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Even if you're scared by it, you can't be scared again by it. Uh, Lydia looks between the three of them, and despite the fact that they just had shots fired, it kind of looks like a standoff. That's not a standoff, that's, that's straight up fighting. No, I mean, like... Even though they, they just fired, they're not attacking again, waiting for somebody to make the next move. 
I'm gonna run up and say what's happening. Uh, Lydia looks to you. They get them out of there. Just go. I'll give you a boat. Do you, oh, we have two. Am I allowed to kill them? Yes. Just do whatever. I don't get them out of there. Wait. Which ones do I? Which ones are not? I'm not allowed to kill. Kill. Kill all of them. Just... Um. I'm going to before he can before he goes in. I want to hold up my arm, and I want to use my breath, my, uh, smoke form breath. Alright, uh, what all does that do? Because I read it, but uh, I need to refresh my memory. Let me, oh, okay, breath weapon. I, I, that is literally, yeah, it's called breath weapon. Um, once every 1d4 round, smoke creature can breathe a cloud of superheated smoke. Alright, so, roll 2d6. And what's your DC for this? I uh, let me actually check because I don't exactly know. Oh, uh, six of fire damage. Uh, two D six of fire damage each round. No save. Uh, uh yes, but um, but if they fail the fortitude save, then they take Constitution damage. Yeah, it's a. 1d4 points of constitution damage. Yeah, but what's the DC? I, this, here, I'm just going to basically copy and paste what is in there, and I'm going to just send it to you. Um, not me. I, I could literally just... I, I know, but I'm looking at it, and... Then... It, it, this is all it is. I, I, being serious, I don't... Unless they... Unless they're not breathing, I don't think they can try... Unless they... I literally think they have to try to run away from it. Well, it says fortitude save. Okay. Um, it's probably a charisma-based one. Okay. So it's going to be 10 plus your charisma plus half your hit dice. Okay, so hold on. Just go over all of this with me. So it's I know, it's constitution-based, my bad. Okay, so it's 2d6 yeah. plus what? Uh, just roll 2d6. Okay. Uh, that's how much damage that... Uh, you're doing it, like, at this angle, so you'd hit them, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of breathing right into the room. Okay, so, these two both take six points of damage. And... Then they will with fortitude saves. The DC is actually ten plus your constitution mod OFO, plus half your level. So it's a constitution mod. My con oh god, um, here we go. It's bad. I have no- I have- Constitution's the only stat that really is low, it's 10. Alright, so it's just DC 10. Wait, are you a melee character? Technically, I'm more of a ranged based. If they okay. get too close, I'm supposed to use- Basically, the way I have this character set up is if they get too close, I'm using that smoke, and I'm because I can see through it, I'm going to be bouncing around them. Well, effectively. um, the smoke both af affects both of them. The instant that um the flying woman takes a breath in, and they both fail the saves, so roll a one d four. Uh, there's a slight little aura that surrounds her. That negates the effect from hitting her from now on. And I'm basically just gonna shut, slam, I'm just gonna basically pull the door shut and just hold it. Alright, you hold the door shut, and with that, we're gonna enter initiative.
Tell me when they make enough noise to be heard across the island. It's enough noise. Okay. I get up and I say, I sense danger. I oh, must go. Me and, me and the freaking cat have actually rolled the exa- oh. Alright, so, uh, go, um, after two tunes, let's just say you're close enough to be in there. Alright. So, as the first, um, as the shot was fired, he's going to shoot another spear at the flying woman. Uh, that would hit her, but she's going to try to deflect it. She manages to deflect it. Um, there is a spear that comes straight through the wall. Right here, and continues flying. And with that, this guy... Uh, is going to have to do a fortitude save or take more con damage. He succeeds and begins to hold his breath as he goes ten feet and then makes a pounce attack. Hey, Klaus, how does the nightmare ability work? Um. Because, like, I click on it, but it just brings me up to the template. Which ability? Well, it says I get a spell-like ability like three times a day. I get tech thoughts, dream, nightmare, and suggestion. Oh, that's a spell. Just look up um, Pathfinder Nightmare spell. Okay. Klaus, after this fight, could I possibly move like two points into a different stat? Uh, so just because you didn't know that that was. I completely forgot about my about my breath. He fails to deflect the pounce. This knocks him prone as he takes 16 points of damage. Black Rose. Oh yeah, will a 1d4 to see how long it takes for your breath to recharge. Four. All right, so um, two more rounds. Got it. Um, I'm gonna look over. Uh, I'm gonna look over to Q. Does that mask prevent breathing of external gases? Because if it does, then you can go in. It does not. Okay. Well then, I'm just gonna kind of continue to just hold the door shut. <laughs> I'm trying to find a little icon for your breath the weapon. Let's go with that. There we go. And right. Okay, so hold on. It lasts how many turns? Um... Three turns after you use it, you're able to use it again. I can... So. Yeah, no, like I said, this is basically how my character is. Yep. So the woman... spins around, see that the door is locked. Um... Who... Ability allows her to... Maintain this without breathing. But not for too long, so she's going to attempt to... Use her abilities to knock the door down. Give me a strength um, check. This is my. Oh, never mind. This might be decent. Never mind. The door flies off its hinges, carrying you along with it. And as you fall, you take. Three points of damage. I don't even think I, I may, I'm being honest. I think I forgot, but I forgot. I think I forgot to um, change 
how much health I have because I still only have 10. Oh, that's how much you're supposed to have right now. Okay, never mind then. Good. Then I'm good. I'm good. Alright. And she flies out and flies higher up. Q, -bay. Q. Hmm. I'm gonna follow the lady. How high up is she? Uh, she is 50 feet up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna follow her. Alright, so you fly up 10 feet. Uh, I'm gonna double move. Alright, you fly up 20 feet. Mm hmm And I wanna yell at her, uh, where are you going? Up here! Who are you? Oh, my name's Telvi. Nice are to you meet a you. Dancer? No. Well, technically yes, but that's not important right now. I can assure that you'll survive if you stay. I will personally deal with anyone that tries to kill you if you stay with us. She considers this. And you'll find out what she'll do at some point on her turn.